It's about a boy whose girlfriend dies and he's distraught and going through a real rough patch and she ends up coming back. And at first he doesn't know why. They just he's so jazzed because, you know, he had all these things he wanted to say to her and all these regrets and they end up trying to make up for lost time and pick up where they left off before it kind of devolves into a zombie nightmare. My name is Jeff Baina. I'm the director of Life After Beth, which is premiering in the U.S. Dramatic Competition at Sundance Film Festival in 2014. I had the idea of a guy whose girlfriend died and then he's sneaking around the house and then he sees her inside and is confused and thinks maybe she faked her death or doesn't really know exactly what happened. And so that scene sort of popped in my head and then I kind of built it out from there. And it wasn't an intentional mishmash of genre. I, I think that's a consequence of obviously having zombies in the movie, but I, I, my approach was always to sort of minimize that and make it more peripheral and emphasize sort of the interpersonal dynamics and the drama between people and the characters. I was never super conscious about trying to you know, violate like the genre basic rules and you know, mix them together and stuff like that. I think it was just a consequence of just trying to find like, the truth to the scene. Zach is the main character. He's played by Dane DeHaan. Aubrey Plaza plays Beth Slocum, who is his girlfriend. And Anna Kendrick plays Erica Wexler, who is a girl that Zach grew up with when he was little and hasn't seen her since he was little. And she kind of pops back up on the scene at the most inopportune time. It was just a, ma a matter of just, you know, like reaching out to people that I wanted ideally and pretty much got most of them. And they responded to the script and it kind of happened pretty fast. I'm super excited. My goal is obviously to get into Sundance. That's like what everyone wants to do. I just hope when people watch it, they have a really good time and that maybe it hits them on multiple levels, not just, you know, comedy, but pathos and, you know, maybe some bigger questions and stuff with identity and existence, but it's fun and I hope people dig it.